things do happen and that's why that it's good to buy both the cost of construction and wrap up欢迎回到虾米视频这一面文层生活我们都知道在大问地区有非常多的建案嘛走到哪都是工程那今天我们就要来了解一下对于商业的保险这一块身为建商他们有没有什么需要注意的事项呢这些建案是不是都要做一些
that got injured on the on the project, well, they don't really fall under wrap up Ooh. because wrap up is to protect the uh, insurer against the party. Employee is no is not considered the party. They are actually uh, employees of the insurer, so they that fall under the WCB claim. So with respect to developer who intend to build and rent out the the building at a later date. They could also ask to have business interruption coverages in place so that in the event of a loss of the building, they can trust that the insurance company will pay for the, uh, the loss of rents down the road. So we talked about the basic coverages for different developers and um, I would like to know uh, what are some of the uh, thematic risks that are growing nowadays? Yes, one of the, the big things nowadays is uh, pollution risk. Uh, usually people don't think about it, mm -hmm. but in recent years, as people getting more educated nowadays with technology more advanced, we realize that even tomato can be a, a, a pollution. Right. Uh, if it's actually substantial of them is in the water, uh, that it could affect many things, the fish growth and all that stuff. So it is uh, something that it, it can be discussed and added on to this cost of construction insurance, like mm -hmm. uh, the LIPO, especially the wrap up. So yes, that would be one of them. And the second thing that I would say is earthquake, flood. Uh, usually you may think, well, the construction is only there for like you know, a year. You know, it's not gonna be for long. Why would I need it? But as you know, with recent years, you know, Japan and California is hit happen. with earthquake, yes. So yes, we do need to make sure that it is no, the premium if it's not too much, just add it on, just so that at least the financial expense is being protected. What are some typical exclusions that customers may not be aware of? Oh, well, one of them will be asbestos. Now, with respect to new construction, that shouldn't be a concern. But with big renovations, especially in Vancouver, we have a lot of older homes, uh, which tend to have, like, especially the homes that built in the 60s, 70s, they do have asbestos problem. Okay. And unfortunately, a lot of the policies do have asbestos exclusion, fungi spore exclusion as well. Can you share a case, um, a recent case, that you help your client to claim a loss or damages through the policy? Luckily, I mean, all our customers so far, they haven't had a big losses. Good, good. And uh, there is one that their roof trusses kind of flew off due to a big wind. Okay. Uh, however, at the end of the day, they called, they gave us a call, they said, hey, should we make a claim or not? And I asked, how much do you think the damage is? And they answered like $5,000. Okay. Then I said, well, your policy has a deductible of $2,500. Sure, you can make a claim. But then at the end, they decided not to proceed because they felt like, hey, they don't want to go through all that hustles mm -hmm. just to get that $2,500 back. Mm -hmm. But being that said though, we have seen many construction that actually went wrong, especially in the recent months, uh, weeks even, with the Dunbar building just nearby on, 40, I think, 40th and Dunbar. Uh, there was a crane due to a big wind, yeah. and hence causing quite a big of, uh, explosion, I would say. And so yes, uh, things do happen, and that's why that it's good to buy both the cost of construction and wrap up. Again, the cost of construction is to protect your own finances, uh, the amount that you invested in the project. The wrap up is to protect you from claim from other people to you, such as your neighboring uh, houses, because they will most likely suffer a loss. When there's a fire in your building, chances are fire extinguisher will have to come in. They will have to sprinkle the water and chances are next door building will have right. water damage. So what's the general procedure to make a claim? Well, it's very simple. You no, know, give us a call first, because we generally give you know, advices to our clients mm -hmm. to whether to proceed or not. And if it's not worth it, then we'll just leave it as is. But yes, if the customer do wish to proceed, then we'll take the information down for the customer and send it to the insurance company on behalf of the customer.
A big thank you for Stanley, thank you so much. And also a big thanks to Modella Development for such a great precedent center for us to fill. Also a big thanks to Wawanisa Insurance. So if you, any of you have any questions about uh, commercial insurance, this is the guy to hit up, okay? He's from Park Georgia Insurance. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time. Thank you everyone. 谢谢大家的收看，也请大家记得要订阅、转发，然后开启的小铃铛。然后呃，如果有任何意见呢，当然都欢迎你们可以留在留言里面，有问题是可以发问的。那当然在这里要非常感谢我们所有的赞助商，欢迎所有的观众朋友们联系我们。如果你有想要看的题目啊，或想要跟我们合作的话，都欢迎你们跟我们说喽。再次感谢大家，我们下次见喽，拜拜。